Hey guys, what's up you all? Today we're going to be talking about journaling. Um, journaling, I think, is something that's really helpful for both mental health and spiritual health. And so this should be a very casual conversation because journaling isn't very strict. It doesn't have like point A, point B, point C kind of like rule book and all. Um, but I think it just really helps with just your overall life and being able to see, um, yeah, your life played before your, reading before your eyes. I was going to say play, but you don't really play it before your eyes and read about it. So, let's get started. Okay, y'all, so before we get started, I want to talk about uh, the Blessing in the Jaw Challenge, because I haven't done a video on my review of that. So I'm going to do that very quickly here. So I kind of forgot a little bit about it. So what I ended up doing, instead of getting a jaw, instead of writing on a slip of paper, I know, I'm being lazy here, I decided to write in my journal. One reason to keep a journal. Getting ahead of myself here, but that's one reason to keep a journal. So I'm going, so I end up writing down four blessings over roughly four weeks span of the challenge. So four weeks, as I said, for the challenge, and I came up with four blessings that I actually remembered and wrote down. One of my blessings was that it didn't rain on one of the days that I really wanted to go bike riding. I know, not very revelational, but I felt like it was a blessing. Now, maybe something that sounded more like a blessing, which I have, was that my schedule kind of fared, and it just really made me sit down a little bit more and just spend some time, needed time with God that I just really needed, and I saw that as a blessing. So, those are two of my four blessings. The other two are personal to me, personally. Um, and so, one thing that I did in my journal here is that when I had a blessing, I underlined it here in my journal. That way I remembered the blessing. Okay, so now let's get talking about journaling. So I know I technically said we're going to talk about journaling right now, but first I want to talk about something that I use called Deio, which is a mood tracker. So one thing that journaling helps you to do is to track your mood, to see any habit or thing that you're doing, and Deio helps you with that. So let's go talk about that right now. So I am here on Dalio Diary, uh, Dalio.net here in this bar. You can get it on both uh, Apple or Google Play Store. And we're going to just watch this quick video of what this app really does and everything. So, let's just play it. So, this app helps you to keep track of your mood. Um, I think one thing that I've noticed is how much my mood changes throughout the day. So, you can uh, track your time, the mood, uh, connect it to a certain activity um, that you had that mood. You can also write notes in as well. Um, uh, you, so here on this screen, you can see that there's a correlation between the activities that you do and the mood that you have. Uh, you can also see the calendar, uh, how many times your mood fluctuated throughout the day, because I find out that my mood actually fluctuates quite, um, a lot throughout the day, depending on what activity I'm doing, depending on what's happening. You can set a reminder for... I need to at least make sure that I put in some kind of mood in and I have that set up as well. This is both free and a paid version. You can keep your, uh, have a pin so not everybody can get into it. Um, so yeah, I think it's very helpful for keeping track of my mood and yeah. Okay, so now let's get to the weird thing. Journaling. So. Many of y'all are probably thinking, okay, Elizabeth, you do a lot of stuff talking about spiritual life, the Bible, so does journaling have to do something with that? The answer is it does. So, in one of my videos, I made the top five books you should read this summer. One of those books are Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life. And in this book, 
in chapter, let's see if I can find it, chapter 11, it has drooling for the purpose of godliness. So, with that, we're, I'm going to just read um, the list of why journaling helps from this book. Not taking credit, it's from this book. And we're going to just go over them quickly. So, it's from this title area where it says value of journaling. So, the first value of journaling is it helps in self-understanding and evaluation. As I was talking about with the daily thing where you can track your mood, helps you evaluate yourself, helps you understand, oh, I'm having that mood with that activity. Um, journaling also helps you to just evaluate your life. Am I on track of where I want to be? Have I, has my relationship with God distanced? Um, has my relationship with my family? Is there any negative habits or thoughts that I've been having that Maybe I should see that um, in a different way. Something like that. So it helps you evaluate what's going on in your life. It helps in meditation. Just meditating on God's word. One thing that um, that is suggested when I did my spiritual formations class is to do a daily journal. And there it had me to do whatever I was doing for my daily Bible reading, I had to write down the passage that I was reading and write down my Bible, write down the notes to that. You don't have to do that. And then I had to write down my memorization verse. So it helped me to um, just meditate on a verse. That's a lot more stricter and that was only for a formation class so I could get a grade on it. But I do suggest if you see a verse and go, wow, that's, that's really powerful. I want to remember that. Write it down. That way you can just, when you go back, you can look on it and then meditate on it. Um, helps in expressing thoughts and feelings to the Lord. David cried out to God in poetry. Um, you can see that throughout the Psalms. Uh, lament, uh, his lamentation, his the imprecatory Psalms, where he was like, God, do something here. You know, um, when I write poetry, that's what I do. I a lot of my poetry is all prayers to God or observations of my life. So it helps in expressing my feelings to God. Being able to write down your prayers to God in your journal uh, sometimes just helps you to have an overview of what's really going on as you talk to God. Helps in remembering the Lord's work. As I was talking about writing down your blessings, the Lord's work, what has he done in your life? And not only does that help in you remembering what God has done, but it also helps in creating and preserving a spiritual heritage. So passing on that to the next generation. Um, many of the famous people had journals where you got to see uh, many famous people when i mean famous people famous missionaries had journals where you get to see where they doubted god sometimes sometimes they were like god why is this happening you know i'm stuck in the middle of nowhere i'm tired it's wet it's cold and then other times they were like rejoicing look this whole village i can see how you're working through this the whole village and the people and the chief you know, and so I think that's really important to see that. Now, I don't want you all to, like, get afraid of, oh, someone else is going to read my journal. Because I want you all, when you do journaling, to be vulnerable about it. Because if you're just superficial with your journal, your journal is just going to be, like, your Facebook account, you know. No, it shouldn't be, like, your Facebook account. It should have both ups and downs, trials, and perseverance. Showing all of that, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, whatever, it's all in there. It helps in clarifying and articulating insights. Um, things that you've seen, things that is going on, helps you to just be able to, un maybe just be able to step back and see the bigger picture. Uh, be able to 
look back through your journal and see, wow, God has really been working through it. Like, I didn't understand why this happened maybe over here, but I'm seeing as I reread my life over how God has been working through my life. How's monitoring goals and priorities, writing down your goals so you can see uh, where you want to be, how to get to point A to point B, and how you're getting to that area. And also writing down why you want to get to point A to point B. And then it just plain helps in maintaining the other disciplines, prayer, um, worship, Bible intake, as I talked about that example from my spiritual formation class, writing down the verse, writing down certain things that you learn from that passage, the applications, and putting the memory verses in your journal. So that's how it helps with the other uh, spiritual formations. Okay, so you're probably all wondering, is there any rules to journaling? Well, not really, but kind of. So, rule number one, always, always put the date in the book. It's painful if you write something down and don't put the date in there because then you're going to go look back and go, when did that happen? I don't remember that happening. So put the date in it. Rule number two, be, be vulnerable, be honest with yourself. It's pointless to have a superficial book that looks like your Facebook account of all your best vacations. You want the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the great, whatever. You want it all in there. Your frustration, your anger, your joy, your sadness, your fears, uh, your great achievements, and your biggest failures. You want that all in there and to be able to see that all in. So be vulnerable and be honest. That's rule number two. And I think that's, oh, and I'm going to go with one last rule. Rule number three, go back and reread read your journal. Ever so often, just go back and reread it because you want to see the growth and development that you have. Or you want to see another time that you were in trial and you all might be right now and see how God has worked through those previous trials in your life. And now you're realizing, okay, I know God's going to work through this. And then later on, you get to see, wow, God really did work through that. So we read your journal over again. Those are my three words when it comes to journaling. Then other than that, you can journal however you like. You can use a nice little journal. You can use scrapbook. However, I highly suggest using something that has a boundary thing here so you don't lose the pages. Um, you can use something pretty. I actually got this from like a women's Bible study. Uh, they handed this out as one of the gifts to me. Each one got, like, they got different gifts each week, and this happened to land to me on one of the days that I was at a women's Bible study. But you can get whatever kind of journal you want, decorate however you like, uh, use different color of pens, as you can see. I don't always use it in the same ink. Make it fancy, make it cool, or just make it plain if you want to. Whatever makes you get into that journaling mood. Oh, I'm going to say my last fourth rule is do your best to journal daily, okay? Even if it's two lines long, do your best to journal every day. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so I know I said a ton about journaling because I could probably sit here and talk about like an hour of all the things I do in journal and all the things I've learned from journaling but I don't have that type of time here in this video. So if you guys have any more questions all about journaling, if there's something that I didn't cover that you're like, oh, that really should have been covered, um, please comment that down in the description box below. Or not the description box below, in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear from you. As always, um, I have a poetry website that you can guys check out um, in the description box below. Please give me a thumbs up, press that notification button. Um, so you don't miss another video, please click the subscribe button because I like to know that people like these videos. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I know I feel like I was going a thousand miles per hour on that, but um, yeah, there's so much to talk about journaling and I think I've only cracked the surface with that. If you want another journaling video, maybe a little bit more of what I personally do when it comes to journaling. 
um, comment that in the comment section below, and maybe I'll make a video out of it. Anyways, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!